During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. Feels like George's marvellous medicine. That is milk and yeast and soil. off quite well. It's like it's flicky. This is coat number two. So this should apparently encourage lots of lichen growth within a couple of weeks not within years like it would normally take. Seems like a rather odd thing to be doing, doesn't it? Painting me rocks. Hello. We've had some geese take up residence in a little island over there. I don't know if you can hear them. And they make a noise all the way throughout the night, which I think is quite sweet. I quite like it. After a while, you don't hear it anymore, do you? They're kind of like ducks that they chatter to each other throughout the night. Like one of them's just told a funny joke. Meh, 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 meh. They've been here what, two weeks now, haven't they? Yeah. I'm painting my rocks with milk and lichen and yeast. It's nice. Ugh.
this morning got to go and process some wood up near the tool shed that's been there for several months now when we moved to the island we had no wood stocks uh, I think the previous occupant had coal rather than wood so we're pretty much starting from scratch and we have no wood left well we've got some left but not much and we're not really burning that much at the moment because it's not cold so uh, this needs processing for next year so that's what I'm doing right now Not sure if the uh, microphones are picking that up, but the birds are back. It's been relatively quiet in this wood over the past few months, but there's like a symphony of bird song going on right now. It's like you can hear it all over the island. What's this? This is a flower that I've... It's not, it's not illegal substances. It's, it's, it's your cocaine stash, isn't it? Flower that I've bagged into individual portions that I'm going to freeze for convenience. I've got a big deep chest freezer up at the workshop, so... It's going That's another one. Do you know that, that makes five deep freezes? <laughs> Here you go. Okay.
Now, unfortunately for me, all of this needs chopping up today and uh, storing in here. The chainsaw is really good, so it shouldn't take that long. But where to chop it is the issue because I don't want to be moving it any further than I have to, so I'm just going to have to chop it here and sweep up afterwards. Oh, the sun's come out. Pretty that is. How nice does that look, all the colours? This is becoming sauerkraut. The rule is for every pound of veg, 10 grams of salt. And this should all kind of macerate down and it should fit in these two fermenting jars here. Ferment it for two to four weeks, depending on your how, li how you like your flavour. Um, been eating sauerkraut in Europe for millennia. It's a Germanic tribes thing. And it's incredibly good for you. Like all fermented foods. Um, is that they developed it, the Germanic tribes, as a way of um, long-term food storage. And it's literally just vegetables and salt. Just massage the salt into the veg and then leave it for about half an hour and it should start to leak out the water, the salt draws out the water 
and then I can pack it into the jars and just leave it. See how much it's reduced by already. All the water is starting to come out. You don't need to sterilise your jars when you're fermenting. You just need to be clean because the war that goes on in the jars with all the good versus bad bacteria will essentially do that for you. That whole bowl fitted into this one jar, quite surprised. Back in the day they would have used just an earthenware crock for this. With a weight on top. But happily, modern convenience is of fermenting jars. Let's top it off with some more brine because it needs to be completely submerged. Here we come a wassailing among the leaves so green. And here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year.
45 minutes later, here we are. Unfortunately, the chainsaw ran out of oil. Sorry, out of petrol. And I've left the, uh, the petrol canisters down at the house. So I can't really be able to go all the way down there just to finish off what was one log there and there's two over there. So I did all of it apart from three small logs. As you know, as some of you know about chainsaws, you have to mix the fuel and the fuel all together. And the canisters that I've got to do that with are down at the house. So otherwise I'd do it here, but I can't. So all this is now going in there. And then that'll be the end of the job. Can you see the robin? This robin is always up here. It's in the middle of the screen on the tree. It's a very friendly little chap or could be a miss. Knows that when there's humans around messing about up here, that there's probably grubs. <laughs> the robins here are so friendly. I disturbed a mouse down here earlier. He must have run off by now. Splitting, 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 etc. I'll finish if you want. You're not to get this up. Doesn't look like much, does it? When you stack it in there. Only another five more loads to fill it. Katie's going to Glasgow again. Again, yes, to visit my mother. She hates when I call her my mother. That's what she is. <laughs> she wants me to call her mum. Anyway, it's a long trek. Good four hours, so... Plus the extra length of time it takes us to get off the island, another half hour, so... <sighs> off we go. To, uh, to take the boats over to the car.
such a palaver. It's very warm again, isn't it? It's lovely. It's so there's snow on the mountain. Yeah. Get the gate. That's, uh, Is that the leather? Weed matting. Oh. This is yours. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's just going to be a DVD. A Blu-ray. Well, you're going to have a nice walk back, aren't you? Well, at least it's, it's nice countryside and the weather's all right. Mm. Look at the snow over there on the mountains. Yeah, thanks for reminding me about the walk back. <laughs> you might see some deer again. Very often get... I've seen three stags on that track. Well, uh, the other day, didn't I, when I was out, I uh, had a staring competition with a stag. Yeah, they're not afraid. They just stand and stare at you. It's pretty spectacular. Right, goodbye. I'm off into the real world. See you on Sunday. On Sunday? <laughs>